From the beginning, my goal with this channel was to inspire people, maybe like you, who had never built speakers before to build their first speaker. And to be honest, I never wanted to do that through teaching. Uh, I just wanted to make my pretty little build videos and that'd be that. But over time, I realized like it was for me, it could be kind of hard to find simple explanations for how to build good sounding speakers. So I started doing more informational and tutorial style videos. Well, as a continuation on that thinking, I wanna start giving you guys information as well as my opinion on the products that I use. Hello everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today I'm doing my first driver review on the Dayton Audio TCP 115 four inch woofer. Now this isn't a large woofer and with a three and three quarter inch cone and a five and a half inch overall diameter, this woofer won't be shaking down any walls. It's more like a mid bass but running it through WinISD gives us a pretty good plot down to around 50 hertz at negative 3 dB in the right vented enclosure. So that's pretty deep for its size. That makes this a great driver for a small two-way setup. And as you'll see when we test it a little later, you can get away with a pretty simple second order crossover to filter it. Just select a tweeter, throw them both in VitUX and you're off to the races. This could also be a great contender for a two-way T-line enclosure. Just don't forget about that tweeter because this thing is nowhere close to a full range. The cone starts to break up around 4,000 Hertz, but that's plenty of breathing room, even if you want to use a budget tweeter like the Dayton Audio TD20F. I'm actually right in the middle of a two-way build using both these woofers and that tweeter. I'm filming the whole process. You can check it out right up here. So let's get this guy on the test bench and see what she'll do. I'll be testing this driver using an Omni mic. That's this guy right here. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to find out more, uh, but I am going to be doing a whole review video on this product uh, because I think it deserves it. Uh, but I will say here that it makes testing drivers uh, a breeze. I'll be using an infinite baffle to mount the driver for this test. This isn't perfect, but it's easy setup and more than adequate for what we're doing here. And I know this whole setup isn't ideal, um, it's a little windy outside. Uh, we are half, kind of half outside the edge of the garage, um, but it, it'll work. Okay, so here's Omni Mic. We got it playing right now. We're gonna pause it. So here's our frequency graph. This is the incoming. We got a live uh, visual of what our frequency response looks like from right up here. So we're gonna hit play and then start doing it. All right, here we go. All right, and it's, it's like real slow right now, but here is our graph. So we're gonna pause it. So this is pausing the, uh, the uh, input. Right, I'm gonna pause this too. All right, so this is what we got. Um, this actually looks pretty good, right? So this is what? 5 dB difference between these two lines. So from 60 Hertz all the way up to almost 3000 Hertz, uh, we're within 5 dB of each other. And a lot of this is about 4 dB. We got a little dip here, and then this big bump up here that we, uh, that we know about. Um, that's pretty good. Um, it's a nice midwoofer and a little bit of extension. With the right uh, enclosure, we can probably get down to 50 hertz uh, within negative 3 dB of our, of our total. All right, so that looked pretty good. Um, so that was that one inch. We're gonna move this back uh, about five more inches and see how it sounds there. All right, 
<laughs> Let's do it. Jerry Rig Central. All right, so now we're about six inches away. Uh, let's take some measurements. Okay, so you can see, once this goes away, uh, we got a different graph. So about six inches away, uh, we're seeing a dip at just under 800 hertz. Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff can can uh, influence this graph at this distance. Um, our, our baffle for one, the way our mic's set up, uh, and the speaker itself, um, ambient noises, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so you can see uh, at different distances, the mic picks up different sounds. Um, the sound does change farther away you get. You're gonna get probably the most pure sound of what the driver can do. The closer you are to the driver, uh, the farther you get away, um, the, the more variables come into play. I don't think I've mentioned the price of this driver yet, and that might be the best part. It's only 12 bucks. I know. That means you could pair this guy with a TD20F and walk away with your drivers for under 40 bucks at the time of filming this. It's pretty crazy. For its price point, you're getting a good quality driver as well. It can take 40 watts RMS, it has a beefy magnet, big thick rubber surround, four millimeters of linear excursion, and it has a nice pretty flange so you don't have to back mount it or create a mounting cover. Now the build quality doesn't quite compare to 30 or $40 drivers of the same size. It does have a stamped steel frame and a plain treated paper cone, but for 12 bucks, I mean, you gotta make some concessions. Of course your build goals and budget will dictate the drivers you use, but this one is hard to beat if you're on a budget. So the bottom line, I don't think you can beat the value of this driver, especially if you're a first time builder. The price point, the build quality, the frequency range, this one just has a nice mix of attributes. You may not get a pat on the back from your audiophile friends, but I bet you'll turn some heads when you tell them how much your build cost. I've included links to all the products we've talked about today down in the description below. If you're interested in building your own pair of speakers, head over to kmakits.com where you can find free build plans as well as complete build kits for purchase. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down. Just make your feelings known. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell next to it if you want updates on when I upload videos. I have a Patreon where fans like you help me make videos like this one. If you wanna see the behind the scenes of making my videos uh, or my speaker building or just life in general, uh, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, you can just search Kirby Meets Audio or there's a link down in the description. All right, thanks for watching uh, my first review video. Uh, I'm trying to do it a little different. It'll get better in time. <laughs> if you have suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I appreciate your feedback. I try to make these like entertaining and hopefully helpful for people who want to build speakers and other stuff. I'm gonna be reviewing like amps and, and uh, maybe tools and headphones and speakers and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know, we'll see. Just trying to add some, some value, some content. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.